We did it, and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. If you like to do a build it or make it, so do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we don't have a project because we are busy securing some workshop space. Come on, let's take a tour. Bam, this is it. <laughs> We were in desperate need of a new space. We have totally outgrown our home. We have Kim and Garrett Make It business all over our home. So our garage is our production area. Upstairs bedroom is our filming area. We have the shipping room in the front office. And then we have our paint room where we do our painting, making our bows, gluing, and I have a desk in there in our front dining room. We have taken over the whole house. So only, only the bedrooms are safe. Yeah. Everywhere else is business. So we finally got a space. We're super excited. This space is perfect for what we want to do. And we'd love to take you guys on a tour of what we're thinking. And then we'll keep you updated as we build this space out and make it our own. Room one. This is our showroom. <laughs> we think we're going to build this front room by the front door out as our showroom. We do not currently have a retail space. So I think this will be perfect to showcase some of the finished products, folks who come pick up finished products here. Right now they come to our home and I hang them on a porch post and our front, on our front porch. <laughs> Sometimes they take the wrong sign. They did, the other day she took the wrong sign. I was like, well, you can have that sign, but yours is in a nice box on the ground. So. <laughs> and we think we can build this wall out. We'll put our logo up here. We'll have a counter space here and then I'm not sure what else it's going to look like, but I do know... We'll put all of the things that we build, do, or make out here. Yes, yes. And I know that I'm going to replace this French door with a barn door. I think that will be perfect for this aesthetic. 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 Let's see what's in here. Room number two. The finishing room. This is going to be right off that showroom, and so that's why we want this barn door here to close off the space because I think this is going to be a messy working area. Currently, we have one table the size of a pool table. It's actually it a pool table a pool covered table. up with a piece of plywood. Yes, it is. And so here, we think we're going to have finishing tables all around the outside so that we can paint, we can glue, we can assemble. We can we, ribbonize them. Yes, we have a bow station. I could bring my rolling ribbon rack in here and be able to have all of our ribbons and then our son and daughter insist that we have an island in the center which will be our congregation space where we can all hang out let's see what else we have room number three the kitchen well it's not a kitchen yet Yes, I envision this will be our kitchen space if we're gonna live here all day every day we're gonna need some sort of a like a munch area. <laughs> yeah, some sort of a place where we can... My snacks, my coffee, my afternoon snacks. We're going to put a refrigerator in here. This, this is what I envision right now. A refrigerator, some cabinets, some countertops, a microwave, toaster oven, coffee station. Oh, coffee station. I don't drink coffee, but everybody else does. A barista. <laughs> I might need a barista. And then, of course, a little table and chairs from when you don't want to stand at the island. When you don't want to hang out with everybody else. Let's see what else we have. Room number four, our office. This will be our office space. So this will be Garrett's editing room where he edits all of our videos. And I told him, I was like, well, where will my office be? He's like, in here with me. I didn't do all this so that we could work in separate offices, so yeah, I'll have my desk. Yeah, I'm not in a different room all day. That defeats the entire purpose. Of working together, yes. Yeah. That's what he's always said. So he will have his desk and his monitors, and I will have my desk. I'll conduct business. He'll do the editing. I'm going to need some big monitors. Some big monitors. 
I'm gonna need to see every freckle while I'm editing. <laughs> well, I think we can do that for you. This will be enough room for both of our desks in here. Alright, let's go see the juicy stuff. This is just a random door. Leading to the best room in the whole building. Best room ever. The toilet. No. It's the bathroom, look. It's even like a hospital bathroom. <laughs> that is not the best room. This is the best room. stuff is gonna go down. This will be our new production facility. We will have lasers along this wall, four of them, at least that's our plan. We will have a place for receiving wood. Today we do it outside in our, on our, in our driveway. Yeah, in our driveway. We'll have a place where we can cut wood. I don't have to try to kneel on it and make my cuts. And we'll yeah. have a place to store the wood so that it stays flat. Right now we have a big problem with the wood warping on us. The MDF warps real easy. Over in this corner, we'll be able to store finished product. In this corner, we will have shipping and receiving. We will be able to store more country sheet paints for you guys. So we'll have those in stock. And we'll in this corner, we can them. have a giant ramp. No, maybe not, not a giant. Ramp. Ramp. He's he's just, he really does ramp. think he's gonna put a bike ramp in here, but he's not. We're gonna have shipping tables so that we can package, shriek wrap, box, and have it go out the door for UPS and USPS. Doesn't have to sit on our porch all night? Yeah, sometimes it does. <laughs> Waiting for the, sh the mail delivery to pick it up. But wait, we're not done. We have two more rooms. Come on. Room six. Tanner's office. This is a really big room. It's actually going to be Tanner and Courtney's office. Tanner will manage all of the production and shipping. This will be his space and on the other side of this room will be Courtney's space where she will manage our social media and what else do you do, Court? Marketing. Marketing, media. yes. Social media and marketing. Beautifying our products, things like that. And our last room. One more. Which is the big room. This is the key to the whole operation. Room setting. The filming studio. It's the new studio. So we have a great room at our house currently, but it is upstairs. So you have to come in the front door or the back door and haul all the wood, all the, I mean, what else do we have? There's India, pickets. India, pickets. Two by 12. <laughs> Uh, everything. everything has to be hauled upstairs the tools. and, and around then, a tiny corner. And then once it's built, sometimes it's hard to get it back down. Like we had a really hard time getting the desk back down the stairs. <laughs> uh, if you saw the gnome, the holiday or the, the Halloween gnomes, Kim broke them on the way down the stairs. So the stairs yeah. are very treacherous. So we're super excited for this space because we can come right in through that warehouse haul everything in here and have a filming room set up and ready to go anytime. We don't have to, well, the previous filming room also has Garrett's editing room and his desk in there, so it, was very it is a duly space. used space. You couldn't actually get behind the camera. You could just kind of lean your head behind it to turn it off and on. So look at all this walk around space we'll have. We'll have space for our desk. We'll be able to set up our backdrop, have our countertops. We have a taller ceiling, so I'll be able to balance more things. I don't, I don't know about that. Well, you won't have that angle. That room also has slanted ceilings. You will be able to mount some lights and cameras on the ceiling here and also keep us more floor space. So that is our space. We have lots more room, so expect lots more things from us. And with that, we are about out of time, so if you're not joining us for the Patreon after show, we will see you next week when we'll do it, build it, and make it again. 
Now get out of here. Why would you even say that to him? Because I think he should do it. Like his video all the way back there.